Hello YouTube, it's Sarah and today I have for you a Whimsify unboxing. Whimsify is a monthly subscription service that does both fantasy and science fiction books and has some bookish goodies in the book, in the book, in the box with a book. I will leave a link to their website in the description down below and without further ado let's just get into it. Open the box. Open it, see if it's in first. Ta -da! So the theme for November is secrets and spies. On the back are all kinds of spoilers with what is in the box, so we're just gonna put that to the side. A Whimsify business card, find us on social media, and all the onesies. Okay. Everything's covered in worms. First thing I see here is uh, oh, it's going to be a candle, novel heartbeat, 100% soy wax, hand poured, steal your soul. Oh, this candle could take my soul any day it wants. Oh, that smells so good. And it's pinkish, reddish, and sparkly. Oh, oh, that one. And then, <laughs> one of the warmies even got stuck inside it. Uh, this looks like a, like, Chapstick or lip balm, yep, yeah, strawberry lip balm. Marker projects from Literary Apothecary. So there's a lip balm that I will definitely be using because it's fall here in the United States, and my lips get chapped often. Um, card for the candle. And we have a bookmark. When you spend so long trapped in darkness, you find that the darkness begins to stare back. Sarah J. Mass. That's probably from one of her books, but it is escaping me. So we can try and cheat. Okay, now I feel kind of stupid. Uh, almost everyone in the A Course of Thorns and Roses series is keeping a secret, so we included this lovely quote bookmark by Dreamy and Co. in their honor. I was thinking that trilogy, but I couldn't place it. And so I didn't want to be wrong. Uh, and then it looks like we have a bunch of Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, and Flash, and Wonder Woman stickers. And then we have a little, like, pouch here. And it says, in any situation we can choose who we are and choose who we want to be. Renee. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to say this right. Adia? From Flame in the Mist. Which I have not read yet. And we have another post... Small poster. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. Uh, to go up on my wall back here, you can, you can kind of see I've started a collection. Not that you can really see them from this far away. Uh, maybe there were a hundred different ways to fall in love. The Kiss of Deception, Mary E. Pearson. And we have the book and the worms that I just dumped down on the floor. Uh, okay, so that's for December's theme. So we'll hold on to that for a second. 
<laughs> All that is gonna be fun to clean up. Crap. I need to do a better job of keeping the worms in the box. Uh, so this is the book, but apparently it got a little beat up in the post office slash carrying because it's open a little bit, but I still can't see what it is. So let's, since it's already nicely ripped here, let's just continue on the ripping and see what it is. I'll open it up from the back. So I see the back. Oh, I'm wrapped in and I can feel it. It's the book plate. And the book is Rosemarked by Livia Blackburn. To take on an empire, you must have nothing to lose. It's very pretty, very pink and red. I think it's more like shades of red than pink. The pink is just the faded red. I kind of like it. It's like watercolored. It looks like it was a watercolor painting. Goes around. And, ooh. We've got a map inside that continues with the red color. I'm kind of interested to see how red plays into the story to have this much red going on. The. It's naked! It's just white. It's got some kind of like um, recycled paper and you use different color pieces of paper. It's got little specks. I don't know if you can really see. It doesn't look like you can. Um, and it is, let's see, a healer who cannot be healed. When Ziva, except it's not spelled like Ziva from NCIS, but I, I think that's how you say it, Ziva, falls prey to the deadly rose plague. She knows it's only a matter of time before she fully succumbs. Now she's destined to live her last days in isolation, cut off from her people and unable to practice her art until a threat to her village creates a need that only she can fill. And then a soldier shattered by war, broken by torture at the hands of the Amperan Empire, Dinius thirsts for revenge against his captors, now escaped and reunited with his tribe. He'll do anything to free them from Amperin rule, even if it means undertaking a plan that risks not only his life, but his very self. Thrust together on a high-stakes mission to spy on the capital, the two couldn't be more different. Ziva, deeply committed to her vow of healing, and Dinius, yearning for vengeance. But as they grow closer, they must find common ground if they want to protect those they love. And amidst the constant fear of discovery, the two grapple with a mutual attraction that could break both of their carefully guarded hearts. From the author of Midnight Thief, this smart sweeping fantasy with a political edge and slow burning romance will captivate readers to the very end. So, there's that. I'm very excited to read this. Sounds like it'll be a fun read. And I already showed you the book plate. It continues on. It's kind of like a kind of like, the other ones that I've gotten are just like a frame sort of thing going on with the signature in the middle. I kind of like how they repeated the cover on there. I think that was that was very well done. And the theme for December is ruthless. And it will hold exclusive Grisha Trilogy Bubble Bar by Geek and Wonder, and exclusive Shatter Me art print by Dastark. And you can see that there. And so that was the November Whimsify Box unboxing. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you'd like it, give it a like. And I will see you next week with a new video. TTFN!